And Santa Barbara's temporary downtown promenade could get a fall facelift. News Channel 3's Ryan Fish joins us live from State Street tonight. And Ryan, the plan is to make the promenade safer and more attractive. And CJ, opening up the street here to pedestrians and bicycles has been a big hit. We don't know if this change will be permanent yet, but today City Council voted to approve some big promenade improvements. And saved a lot of businesses. For many locals, Santa Barbara's downtown promenade is one of the few positives to come out of the pandemic. It became a village center for everyone, and we're trying to improve the experience there. The city is planning a refresh look while also trying to make the modified State Street safer. We're going to be replacing um, the things that sort of look like a construction zone at the ends of the streets with some aesthetically pleasing but also safer barriers, basically, that look a little bit more permanent, but they're really interim. Replacing the, the palm tree boxes with nice planters. And then some delineations painted on the ground to help guide um, bikers and walkers. And more lighting would go up to brighten the nighttime atmosphere. It's going to get darker an hour earlier. And let's face it, we need light on State Street. going to be, I believe, string lights parallel to the street on both sides of the street. And that's just going to be huge because it's going to light up the stretch. The cost is $250,000. I think it's worth it. The project would take that money from Measure C funds, a measure that raised city sales tax 1% in 2018. And this is a great use of that, in my opinion, because what's better than to try to, you know, um, help the in infrastructure you know, in the downtown corridor, which is pretty much the economic engine in downtown. Because the changes are considered interim, they don't need to pass through the Historic Landmarks Commission. City Council does plan to discuss the long-term future of State Street in December. And in addition to these changes here, the Santa Barbara Downtown Organization is planning on adding a local artisan's market here downtown starting next month to keep people coming back to the State Street Corridor and to hopefully keep more businesses afloat. Reporting live in downtown Santa Barbara, I'm Ryan Fish, News Channel 3.